Of the bell. So you you saying you you taught yourself to do all this? Pretty much, yeah. Wow, man, you apprenticed with somebody who had more experience, or? Well, it's a slow way to learn, but you yeah more. yeah you make more mistakes, uh, but you remember your mistakes. <laughs> I, I just, uh, man, I just need one more squirt. No. Oh. One mold work. Um, you know, I I started out doing forged work and uh, which you know, welded in cowbell shapes basically. Uh -huh. And I was this uh, here in this area of Maine around here. I've been here since I was doing. I started in Massachusetts. Okay, and just for the record, tell us because this is going to be on YouTube. So tell us your name and where we are in, in Maine here. Uh, well, I'm Richard Fisher, and we're in Prospect Harbor, Maine, uh, down, down east coast of Maine. Yeah. And uh, we probably uh, after I got into the bells and have a little cow, I don't know, six or eight years into it, I decided to, uh, I wanted more variety of shapes and forms I and, see. and sounds than you could get with the forgings, and so I mm -hmm. got into casting for that reason. Interesting. And uh, it was a case of just trial and error a little bit, and then go visit a foundry. And, and you've been doing this for quite some time now. Yes. Yeah, 42 years, I 42 guess. 42 years, my yeah. goodness. Wow. Amazing. Man. But he's been here two years now and uh, pretty much knows it all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I know your son Tim has uh, got into the woodwork, so he's not going to carry this on. Uh. Well, he, 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 we're not sure how it's oh, going to okay. move along, but uh, we're Kay. trying to keep it a family yes. enterprise. Right. Because this, I mean, you have a lot of investment here. Yeah, yeah. No, we uh, we'll keep it going. I mean, the probably the biggest investment that you have, the biggest, is your know-how, your your knowledge of how to do it and the techniques and so on. Um, yeah. Although the process we use is a fairly conventional is it? sand cast. Okay. It's just standard cold sure. and drag sand casting. Yes. Um, the processes we've figured out to make this make our design work is probably kind of unique and uh -huh. yeah somebody who knew about it could probably make it work but, sure uh, sure now the castings the actual molds uh, y you have somebody make those for you no we i made all my own patterns my god they're wow. all uh, carved out of wood and they are they all them. patented or um, we've got them copyrighted. Copyrighted. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Good for you. Yes, and as you should. And here, if I may step in here, what he just swapped, uh, these are all, most of your different size, well, these are not bells necessarily, not all of them, but oh, they're... Those are, yeah, we, those are kind of reject, reject. Of, of different bells, but we use them to mark the molds when we're setting up I see. a floor. So okay. We know we're oh, sure. Sure. It's just uh, easier to I write see. your name on Right. It yes. <laughs> easier to easy to recognize. Yes. Your, yes. Shape is very easy you, to recognize. Uh, when you're doing a pour, you need to know. Yeah. And here's some of the leftovers, right, that you have from the previous runs and so on. Yeah. That, some of those are mistakes and uh -huh. runouts. But and you things. can reuse all that, right? The, the, the standard kind of leftover is uh, this, this kind of stuff here. Uh, and here. Uh huh. I see. Sure. This yes. Is what you get after you right. Cut right. Exactly. Off. Yeah. Man. And some of this is this word you're gonna clean some of this or? Well, that's the skimmings from the crucible. You saw them skimming yes. that off. Yes. Yes. And mm -hmm. this is this was uh, hot, red hot here uh, not too long ago, about 10, 15, 20 minutes ago. It's uh, <laughs> it's uh, boy. It's yes. gas, right? Quite a bit of gas that goes into heating that. Yeah. And it's, uh, of course, the video can't feel it, but it's pretty warm in this part of the room. And what happens in this big machine here? What is... That's called a uh, mixer or muller. It, it conditions the sand. Ah. So that you, uh, when you store the 
see how it's all clumpy here. Yes, I see. Okay, you need to have it nicely powdery and so right. on. Right, and we mix a little new clay with it. And I see. And that kind of interesting. establishes the bond. Very interesting. Well, thank you. I thank you. Anything else you'd like to add to this precious video of ours here? <laughs> well, I think the bells kind of speak for themselves. Yes. If you, yeah. Hopefully you got a little bit of some of the bells ringing in there. Yeah, yeah, we did. And we're, we're going to have a lot more ringing at our house because our, our doorbell has been broken since we remodeled six years ago. And, well, and now we'll actually have a, a true doorbell, right? A literal <laughs> bell. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. It's been a wonderful pleasure.